cyberbullying mm. in most cases um just like you said cyberbullying basically uh it is done it is done among us teenagers um if you look at some of these researches that have been and statistics that uh, have been uh, established online the most type of harassment youth encounter online is naming and calling each other names and uh, of course statistics are, are showing that some 42 percent of teens say they have been called offensive names online or via their cell phone now you realize that now we are talking about teens. Teens always have issues. You know their 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 bodies are developing, their minds are developing. They are transiting from one from one uh, level of of life cycle to another uh, uh, part of life. I mean, so yeah. they encounter a lot of things that come with development. So, and then when you additional about third, third or 32% of teens say they have been spread false rumors about them on the internet. Why smaller shares have had someone other than a parent cons constantly ask where they are, you know, who they are with, what they are doing, and then 21% or have been the target of physical threats online. So yes. it is... Yeah, you, when you look at this cyberbullying, it is majorly the teenagers who are trying to identify themselves. Yes. They, they are trying to understand who they are. And in that process, <laughs> uh, it is where they encounter problems like uh, um, self-esteem, um, trying to identify themselves who they are, yeah. trying to to figure out things where they are good the gifts the talents uh, and and different uh, spheres of influence that they can participate in so at that age group as they are trying to work out stuff as they are trying to to be themselves they make mistakes yeah. and they end up being called names you know <laughs> they end up calling being called names and this is where parenting comes in yes I feel we need um, special sessions on parenting to address some of these issues, yeah. uh, especially when it comes to teenagers. Teenagers, what they go through is a lot and we, we simply don't understand it. And at times we just rubbish it off like, you know, they are crazy. Yeah. By the way, they are the most annoying creatures that God ever <laughs> created. Teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you God know, you were and, once a teenager as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so we, we need, yeah, that stage <laughs> is very dangerous. But uh, however, that stage is very good. I like it. I work with teenagers, you okay. know, uh, they're very creative. They're trying to, they come up with ideas and concepts, very weird ideas, very annoying ideas. But at yeah. the end of the day, you realize this weird idea can be shaped Yes. You know, for them, they look at these small things. Why they are being bullied, they look at these small things. Mm. I, I mean, what we call small things, to them, they are big things. Oh, you know, For example, and just, could you enlighten us? Small things like? Um, Small things like... um, Like the way they look, the way they dress. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Like, okay. they, they, they are just obsessed with the way they want to dress. This is me. This is how I want yes. to dress. Okay. Um, and and uh, they spend a lot of time yeah. on phone. Mm. They, they listen to, you know, they, they participate in a lot of content that does not build them. That is what we, it does not add value to them. Now, yeah. those are the small things we're talking about. And okay. to them, that is the whole world. Yeah. For example, you remember when we, like the platforms we we attach to social, on social media, we, we attach to like things like uh TikTok, Facebook, mm -hmm. but you find a teenager that is boring. You know, yes, they attach yes. to Snapchat. Now, to us, you, you know, you might not find <laughs> us on Snapchat. Do you know why they like Snapchat? Because Snapchat has different uh, filters that will make them look, you know, nice with glowing skin and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. different 
uh, shapes, you know, with Snapchat, you can mold your photo or yourself into anything that you want, but you cannot do that it's, on, for example, Facebook Live, or you cannot do that on uh, other platforms. I think that's why they're tuned to <laughs> Snapchat. Now, according to our profession, yeah. you, you will not you not go and try to 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 transform yourself to another figure that mm -hmm. uh, that is different you have issues with your customers clients your yes. uh, your followers you, you're trying to be someone else now that t the teenagers that is them that is their real thing yeah. you know and in that yeah. process because we don't understand them mm -hmm. we don't understand them we judge them yes you know cyberbullying is far far quite, quite beyond uh, just being online actually cyberbullying can start from what these things do online just imagine you just logged in and mm. you got your daughter dancing in a weird way. And you're like, wow, this is just weird. Now, that is also part of cyberbullying because she'll be, all he will be mentally uh, affected. Yeah. And, and will not like it. That is also part of cyberbullying, you know? And, and we need to understand this age group. Yeah. Yes. It is the most bullied age group because yeah. they're trying to, uh, it is they're trying to identify who they are. Yes. They're trying to identify where they can fit in in society. Yes. They are transiting from one stage to another stage. Mm -hmm. And they have faced challenges with yeah. being bullied in, on different levels. Home, at yeah. school, yeah. Um, even, even within themselves, like peers, they, they bully yeah. themselves, you know. So we need to to have um, specific uh, trainings, lectures yes. on cyberbullying, especially parenting. Yeah. Because the, the whole of this cyberbullying thing is yeah. a parenting thing. One is being mm. bullied. He's mm. being bullied. And there is a dad that believes in this young girl, this young boy, or mm. believes in this person. Yeah. I don't think they'll go to being bothered about what yeah. someone said about them for example right. if you wake up in the morning tell your daughter that you love them tell yeah. them you're the most beautiful you yeah. i like the way you dress you know mm -hmm. and then someone goes on social media and is like wow man the way you dressed is just you know you, you don't know you're out of fashion yeah actually i don't like you you know yeah. but if dad if your dad spoke good, positive words in the morning and was like, I like your dress. My daughter, I love you. Yes. You know, I like the way you talk. Yes. You know, so when this young girl or this teenager goes online and starts speaking, expressing himself, he'll be like, I am the best speaker in the world. I don't care. I, My daddy I, told I am, me so. Yes, I don't yes, care. I am, yes. I am me. I am yes. good at this. This is yes. me. You know, You're that right. confidence. Yes. And you realize that uh, bullying comes with lack of self-confidence. If yeah. you don't know who you are, you and take it personally. Yes. Self, yes. Yeah. Low yes. self-esteem. You don't know who you are. I mean, yeah. when someone speaks, you're like, ha, ah, it mm. might be true. Because now, mm. I don't think I can measure up to um, this it level. Gets a, I 